Bruce Darrington at Supply Tie and Vice, something that I spend far too much time at. Uh, I thought I'd share with you tonight one of my favorite steelhead patterns. It's a uh, crystal egg, commonly known as a, an Estaz fly. And uh, we'll start out by uh, showing you the style hook that we use. This is a uh, Dariki, it's a 135. This is a size 6. You can certainly tie them down to smaller than that. I commonly uh, use a 8, 10, and go as big as a 6, but for uh, purposes of tonight's video, I think a size 6 is a little bit easier to tie with. Uh, another thing that I use when I'm tying the peach estaz or just about any of the estaz eggs, the crystal bullets, is uh, I use a uh, Danville flat wax nylon, and I'm using a uh, fluorescent color, fluorescent orange, and uh, I think it simulates the nucleus or the center of an egg, and uh, I guess we'll get started. So I'll start my thread just behind the eye and uh, wrap back to where it's uh, suspended right over the barb. And the next thing that I'll do is uh, tie in a little bit of tail material and uh, we use uh, Flashaboo for this. Tie in uh, a few wisps is all you need. You can trim these off here and we can cut these down. We may trim those later, but uh, we'll start with that. And um, because it's an Estaz egg, this is what it looks like. It comes in a package. This is peach size. It comes in uh, petite and just standard size, and it may even come in a large size. So I'm going to cut about a three inch uh, section of Estaz off, and we're going to tie that right in at the back. And uh, I'm not going to run the Estaz all the way forward, only because uh, I can get a lot more flies out of it and I'm not wasting the Estaz and we can hide the lump or bump that you would normally see right here. So once you've got that tied in you just simply uh, wrap it forward side by side turns and I whisk the fibers back each time I make a turn forward. You certainly don't need to do that if you have a rotary vise you could simply run it straight out it'll fish flying uh, but uh, when you whisk it back you're not trapping any of those uh, those fibers and I think it makes for a better looking fly. I brought it up to just behind the eye we'll go ahead and secure those with three wraps cut this disguise right out of here and then the only other thing that we're going to do pull back so that we can get any of those trapped down fibers is we'll grab a little bit of uh, uh, glow bug yarn and I'm going to use white 